The Gemara in Kiddushin says that when the Pasuk says that Bnei Yisrael ate man for 40 years in the Midbar, part of that time they were actually eating matzah. But the reason that the Pasuk says that it can still be called that they were eating man is because matzah had a tam of man, that matzah tasted like man. So in some way the matzah was, mat, eating matzah is also in a sense an experience of eating the man, and in some way the taste resembles each other. So what does this mean? So we know that the man had a taste of essentially nothing. And the taste that the man had, as is well known, is the taste that a person imagined. So what that means is that there's essentially a neutral state, a tasteless state. There's no inherent meaning or inherent interpretation or inherent taste to the man, but the way that a person comes into the experience, the mindset, the subjective, personal way that a person engages the man is going to color and dictate and determine the taste and the experience and the flavor that the man takes on. And matzah, the Gemara is saying, is similar in that way. And maybe the idea is that we intentionally keep matzah to be almost the most tasteless food, as po- the most tasteless that we can. We keep it to the most basic, the most simple, to the bare minimum that it has as little taste as possible so that it can be like the man. But the idea being that therefore, the mindset that we bring, the way that we engage it, the way that we come into eating it is going to flavor and going to give taste to what the matzah is actually like for us. And I think that this is a paradigm maybe in a sense for all of life really, that we often think that our experiences and the things that happen around us have a certain inherent meaning, that they mean something, they have a certain upshot in our life, a certain impact on us. But really the idea is that inherently they're in a sense neutral. The question is, what's the mindset that a person comes into the experience with? How do you engage it? How do you interpret it? What's the subjective flavoring that you bring into that experience? And that's what the man was, and maybe that's what the matzah is, and maybe that represents a paradigm of our lives, and maybe that's really, in a sense, what emuna is, and why the matzah is referred to as the food or the bread of emuna, because emuna means that my mindset is going to dictate how I experience this. And that the, 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 the essence of what's taking place is something that's actually undetermined. It, it exists in a, in, a, in a fluid state. Things don't have a fixed or set meaning, but the way that it has meaning is dictated by the subjective experience that we bring to the table. We create what the meaning is of the different things in our lives. And maybe that's the lesson while we're eating the matzah, we taste the simplicity of it, we taste the basic tastelessness of it. And we bring through our personal intention, personal consciousness, our personal relationship with the mitzvah that we're doing creates the entirety of what the meaning of the experience is. And that serves as a paradigm and a guide for how to engage and encounter and experience all the different aspects of our lives.